dissection of mouse hippocampus today we will see how in this video i separate mouse hippocampus from the mouse brain here you can see i am separating cutting a mouse brain into two equal halves here before going before moving into word the rest part of the video i am going to give a sincere advice here if you are working in a lab where you are using mouse brain for your study analysis or experiment keep in mind two things one of the most important is do not place this mouse brain on a paper or on a page because it will stuck to the page and it will be difficult to separate the desired part of the brain the secondly i i will suggest here do not place this mouse brain on ice or on ice pad because it will be frozen there and when you will use this mouse brain it will be crushed you cannot separate the desired part here here you can see uh, i am separating these two parts and from one part i am separating the mid brain part of the brain then i will remove the olfactory bulb it is not easy task because the mouse size is very small so yes i am using here petri dish this is the third advice use petri dish because glass uh, has uh, very less re uh, resistance to catch the this these tissues brain tissues here i am using to remove hypothalamus thalamus and on olf uh, olfactory cortex because behind this uh, these three things there is hippocampus hippocampus um, you can say is a part of brain that deal with the memory function i found uh, some videos on youtube they are guiding by a different way although their videos are very nice but i thought i should do an experiment by myself and then i will make video and then i will upload on youtube alhamdulillah today i am success and i am guiding you uh, some of the things that you should consider in uh mind because th these tissue uh, the mouse brain tissues are very sensitive if you if you, uh, you try to remove any part meaning randomly it will be problem so use one spatula and one blade to this part is called hippocampus you can see in the video so this part will be removed nicely do work in a silent place i mean in a lab where you can do independently and uh, i hope after watching this video your a lot of concept related to mouse hippocampus will be cleared because the theory and practical both are uh or one thing but in understanding both are different things practical is difficult than theory so here you can see this part is the hippocampus part and uh, i will completely separate this part separate hippocampus for biochemical analysis so this part i will separate for biochemical analysis it is very small part from the mouse brain and i hope this video will help you who are you by the way if you are watching this video for your own benefit 
in science it will help you thank you